Once upon a time in the vast reaches of space, there was a cosmic family of planets, each unique in size and character, each surrounded by their loyal moons. They all orbited the grand and glowing sun, whose warmth and light gave them life and meaning. The tiny and speedy Mercury. Mercury, the smallest of them all, was swift and nimble. Without any moons to keep him company, he darted around the sun like a messenger on a cosmic mission. Mercury often boasted about his speed, but he secretly wished for a companion to share his stories of the fiery heat from the sun. Despite his loneliness, Mercury took pride in being the closest to the sun, where he could bask in its intense light. Earth versus Mercury Mercury, the smallest planet, was less than half the size of Earth, with a diameter of 4,879 kilometers, compared to Earth's 12,742 kilometers. While Mercury was barren and airless, Earth flourished with oceans, forests, and life. Mercury envied Earth's atmosphere, which shielded her from the harshness of space, while he bore countless scars from asteroid impacts. The enigmatic Venus. Next came Venus, shrouded in thick clouds of mystery. Like her brother Mercury, Venus had no moons. She prided herself on her brilliant glow, brighter than any other planet in the night sky. Her dense atmosphere made her the hottest planet, and she often dreamed of the beauty she displayed to stargazers on Earth. However, Venus sometimes wondered what it would be like to have a moon to share her swirling storms and secrets. Earth versus Venus <laughs> Venus, Earth's closest sibling in size and proximity, was almost as large, with a diameter of 12,104 kilometers. However, Venus's thick, toxic atmosphere of carbon dioxide made her a scorching inferno with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. In contrast, Earth's balance of oxygen and water made her a haven for life. They were twins in form, but opposites in nature. Earth and her faithful moon. Earth, the blue jewel, was proud of her one and only moon. The moon was a steadfast friend, stabilizing Earth's tilt and creating the gentle rhythms of tides. Together, they danced in perfect harmony, their bond unshakable. The moon often whispered tales of the stars and protected Earth from stray meteors, proving her devotion time and again. Their relationship was a testament to balance and unity in the cosmic family. The moon, Earth's companion, is a world of craters, planes, and ancient secrets. Its surface, marked by billions of years of asteroid impacts, tells a story of a violent past. The moon's phases, from new to full, have inspired countless myths and guided travelers through the ages. Though lifeless, it is a silent witness to Earth's bustling life, reflecting sunlight as a gentle beacon in the night. Mars and his mischievous twins. Mars, the red warrior, had two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos. These moons, likely captured asteroids, were small and irregular. Phobos, the larger and closer of the two, was restless and always seemed to be in a hurry, orbiting Mars in less than a day. Deimos, on the other hand, was shy and kept his distance, taking a leisurely 30 hours to complete his orbit. Mars cherished them both, though he sometimes laughed at their eccentric ways. Phobos, the larger moon, is a craggy, irregular body covered in dust and debris. Its surface is marred by craters, the largest being Stickney Crater, which dominates one side. As Phobos races around Mars, it inches closer to the planet, destined to either crash into Mars or break apart into a ring in millions of years. Deimos, the smaller and more distant moon, is smoother and quieter than its sibling. Its surface is covered in a thick layer of fine dust, giving it a softer appearance. Deimos orbits slowly, almost like a dreamer observing Mars from afar, content in its steady, distant path. Earth versus Mars Mars, the Red Warrior, was about half Earth's size, with a diameter of 6,779 kilometers. Earth was lush and alive, while Mars was dusty and dry, with only faint whispers of ancient rivers and seas. However, Mars admired Earth's vibrant blues and greens, and Earth often encouraged Mars to dream of the potential for life to return to his surface. Jupiter, the Giant King Jupiter was the undisputed king of the planets, a colossus among his siblings. With a vast entourage of 95 moons, he was never alone. His largest moons, the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, were his pride and joy. Io was fiery and temperamental, constantly erupting with volcanic passion. Europa was secretive, hiding a vast ocean beneath her icy crust, and Jupiter often speculated about what secrets lay within. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, was a gentle giant, while Callisto, ancient and cratered, carried the wisdom of eons. Together, they formed a royal court that orbited their massive king, 
each moon contributing to Jupiter's grandeur and might. Io, the most volcanic body in the solar system, is a world of fire and brimstone. Its surface is constantly reshaped by eruptions, creating a kaleidoscope of colors. Io's intense activity is driven by the gravitational tug of war between Jupiter and its neighboring moons. Europa, with its smooth, icy surface, is a world of intrigue. Beneath its frozen crust lies a vast ocean, potentially harboring the conditions for life. The surface is crisscrossed with cracks and ridges, hinting at the dynamic forces below. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, is a gentle giant with a magnetic field of its own. Its icy surface hides a subsurface ocean, while its ancient craters tell stories of a tumultuous history. Callisto, the outermost of the Galilean moons, is a scarred elder with a surface covered in craters. Unlike its siblings, it has remained geologically inactive for billions of years, preserving a record of the early solar system. Earth versus Jupiter Jupiter, the colossal king of planets, dwarfed Earth with a diameter of 139,820 kilometers, more than 11 times larger. If Earth were a grape, Jupiter would be a basketball. Jupiter's swirling storms and massive red spot, a hurricane larger than Earth itself, were awe-inspiring but intimidating. Earth marveled at Jupiter's power, but was grateful for her own calm and stable environment. Saturn and the Dance of Rings Saturn, adorned with dazzling rings, was the most elegant of the planets. His moons numbered in the hundreds, but his heart belonged to Titan and Enceladus. Titan, with its thick atmosphere and lakes of methane, was a world of intrigue and wonder. Enceladus, small but mighty, harbored a secret ocean beneath its icy surface, spraying geysers of water into space. Saturn's moons danced among his rings, creating a symphony of motion and beauty. Saturn often admired his family's unity each moon playing a part in the celestial ballet. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is a world shrouded in orange haze. Beneath its thick atmosphere, rivers and lakes of liquid methane carve the surface, creating an alien yet familiar landscape. Titan's mysteries include a weather system reminiscent of Earth's, but composed of entirely different materials. Enceladus, a small icy moon, is a beacon of hope in the search for extraterrestrial life. Its geysers eject water vapor, ice particles, and organic compounds, hinting at a warm, salty ocean beneath the ice. Enceladus gleams like a pearl, reflecting sunlight brilliantly. Earth versus Saturn Saturn, with his stunning rings, was the second largest planet, with a diameter of 160,460 kilometers. Though not as massive as Jupiter, Saturn's beauty lay in his elegant rings, made of ice and rock. Earth admired Saturn's grace, but was thankful for her simpler, unadorned beauty that nurtured life. Uranus, the Tilted Dreamer Uranus, the Tilted One, spun on his side like a sleepy dreamer. His moons, named after characters from Shakespeare's plays, added a touch of drama to his serene existence. Titania and Oberon, his largest moons, were regal and composed, often discussing the meaning of their place in the cosmos. Miranda, with her chaotic surface of cliffs and ridges, was a source of constant fascination, a reminder that even chaos had its beauty. Uranus often pondered his tilted nature, wondering if it gave his moons a unique perspective on the universe. Titania, Uranus's largest moon, is a stately world with deep canyons and icy plains. Its surface hints at past geological activity, though it has since grown quiet in Uranus's cold embrace. Oberon, the second largest moon, is marked by craters and mysterious dark patches, possibly ancient ice deposits. It is a contemplative moon, gazing outward into the depths of space. Miranda, the smallest and most peculiar of Uranus's major moons, is a patchwork of cliffs, ridges, and valleys. Its surface tells a story of violent disruptions, making it a geological wonder in the solar system. Earth versus Uranus. Uranus, the tilted dreamer, spun on his side with a pale blue-green hue. His diameter of 50,724 kilometers made him about four times larger than Earth. Uranus's icy atmosphere and faint rings were serene but distant. Earth's warmth and energy contrasted with Uranus's cold and quiet demeanor. Neptune and his loyal Triton Neptune, the deep blue wanderer, was the guardian of Triton, his largest moon. Triton was a unique companion, orbiting in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Many believed Triton was a captured wanderer from the Kuiper Belt, but he had found a home with Neptune. Together, they shared a bond forged in the cold and distant reaches of the solar system. 
Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is a frozen world with geysers of nitrogen erupting from beneath its surface. Its retrograde orbit suggests it was captured long ago, making it an outsider that found a place among Neptune's family. Triton's surface is a mosaic of icy plains and ridges, hinting at active processes beneath. Earth versus Neptune Neptune, the deep blue wanderer, was slightly smaller than Uranus, with a diameter of 49,244 kilometers. His intense storms and deep blue color gave him a mysterious allure. While Neptune roared with winds stronger than any on Earth, he admired Earth's ability to harbor gentle breezes and life. A Cosmic Balance Though each planet was unique in size, appearance, and nature, they all had their place in the solar system. Earth, with her life-giving atmosphere and vibrant ecosystems, often felt a sense of gratitude for her fortunate conditions. As she spun through space, she marveled at her siblings, each contributing their own stories to the symphony of the cosmos.